Hi everybody, it's me again. In this video I wanted to do some applique with you. No more baking, I'm not doing any more cakes. Fred's looking sad, he liked the cakes. But um, I wanted to do this because we um, recently had a gentleman join the Edge Group and he owns a 15,000, his name is James. And he made the most beautiful mandala that he posted up on our Facebook page. And I was so inspired by what he did, I wanted to do one for myself. So I did. Now I did um, cut the fabrics first, but I'll get into that with you in a minute. But this is, there's always threads, this is what it looks like. Now I think James did his on a darker background, but you know me, I always do white so it's clear and you can see it. So there's only the three fabrics but what I do like is the stitching on top of the fabric I just think that just brings another dimension to to applique now you could um, do the same color do tone on tone if you want to and create dimension that way I mix the colors up a bit so that they were um, a little bit different and of course you know I never just do one thing I was doing this and was inspired to do something else which was the same sort of thing but just in stitches so this is called a contour fill so anyone who has the digitizer project um, this is creating using a contour fill and I rather like this too and I think you know you could play around with different colorways and get a completely different look but that's all stitches and some of the backgrounds kind of blend into each other too which makes it really interesting but back to this one so this is the one I'm going to stitch out with you now I did pre-cut my fabrics but for those of you that do have a cutter I will um, include an SVG cut file um, for those that you that don't um, you could do like we did in a previous video where you have the backing on your fabric like that and then go through the design first just with some tear away and perforate the holes and you could cut it out that way or you could cut in the hoop as you traditionally do with an applique now the one thing I did do when you pre-cut it's all fine and dandy thinking we're really clever because it's all pre-cut is knowing where the 12 o'clock position is so I have put a pen mark I don't know if you can see it on on this little petal there's a little pen mark there an arrow pointing up so that's my 12 o'clock position you know sometimes these are all meant to be the same but sometimes when you lay them down it doesn't always work if you have it the wrong way around so I've got my 23 by 23 hoop ready to go and I have just um, basted the fabric on top of the um, wadding or batting whatever you like to call it and then the first um, one it's going to do is the placement line for the blue so I'll take the blue over and I'll see you at the machine. 